Sup, sup, sup. My name is Rear for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and this is the Chaos Dragon Combo Guide, which you can find a deck profile and the dual videos of. So basically, if you want a better understanding of the deck, here you go. And we're going to be doing this for all sorts of, of uh, decks coming up. And, people, Blue Eyes is coming. Relax. It's coming. The Blue Eyes Nation is attacking soon. Let's just put that way. My throat is still a little bit sore, so bear with me in case I sound a little bit off. So things we're going to focus on is basically the primary focus of the deck and how it incorporates into the side deck and basically the plays you could make off one card. So we're going to start with Taffy Nut. This is one of the key cards throughout the entire deck. It's fucking amazing. You should always love this card. This card is godly. So basically, if you see this in your opening hand, right... And you see something like, I don't know, where's the, uh, where's the dark mini? There's the dark mini. So basically, if you have something to tribute off with the Tefinot, say malicious, you can set it on the board, or you can put it face up, that's going to get you lavatory. That's pretty understandable. That gives you free monster. You love free monster. Okay, here's the fun part. It's a tuner, it's also dark. So basically, since this is light, you can banish it out now to summon the Collapsed Serpent. Now, you can go two ways about this. You can synchro summon into Leo over here, and get a Wyvern Buster out of your deck. Oh, now you see why I run through it. And then you can bash the Dark One, put it on the board, and have more stuff, but you want to have a Plague Spreader because you want to make use of this. And then that gives you Scrap Dragon plus Leo for basically 5100. Um, not 5100, it's a little. No, it's 5300. 5300 damage. We're using bad at math today. Um, no, it's probably more than that. I'm an idiot! Enough said! It's 5900. I'm a fucking idiot. So, anyway. Uh, what you normally see me do is basically just overlay into one of these three guys here. And then sometimes you'll see me go into Gaia. And Gaia's only primary focus is to bring out this guy, so it's a catalyst. Um, basically, when I say catalyst, something like Dragoonies in that sense. So, I bring out these depending on situations. So, Gauntlet Launcher is usually a situation where basically I need to blow shit up, take control of the board. It's got a 2800 defense body, that's just too good. Uh, M7 is a little bit of offense, that's the heat in the back in case it goes psycho again. Um, the M7 allows you to bounce shit back to your hand, so primarily you want to bounce that Light Pulsar back, or you want to just bounce stuff to get Light Pulsar back, it's just so good. And Utopia is basically OTK status, drop your opponent's monsters to zero, things you can't normally get over. So, it all starts with that one play, the Tefinut into the Mali, or to the Light Pulsar, or to the Caius. And uh, if you don't have the Tefina and you have a Chaos Sorcerer, same kind of thing, you can banish, banish, overlay, and do shit, do work. Now, if your opponent's playing Cockblock.deck, Snatch Steel is so good in this deck for that reason. You're going to steal it up, tribute it out, and then go nuts into everything just for days. Um, other things you can do with Tefinuts and malicious and like pulsar is basically use it with plague spreader to go into level 8 synchro or you can use effect relic or level 7 hence why we don't normally uh really go into level 7 with the deck because of the fact that well it's not pr its primary focus is not to go into level 7s and its primary focus is to go into level 8 synchros and rank 6s and level 10 synchro when it can this is just too good not to run um Excuse my arm. Now, I can make rank 4s mainly from the mini Chaos Dragons, hence I run the 3 ratio. Um, that's why these 4 are here, but primarily everything else. Like, Goyo is done by Plague Spreader and the 4. The whole deck design is to incorporate that whole status. Now, even the side deck is for this reason, too, where basically Monarch Sword 4th comes into play. You can basically tribute opponent's monster. It doesn't target. This is lovely as hell to play. People, if you're running a deck that has anything higher than a freaking 4, you want to run this. You can tribute your opponent's monster off and just drop like a boss. Now... Um, basically what I'll side in is Majesty's, Caius, or Jinzo, or all three depending on situations, and then Decrees because I don't run traps, and or a third MST if I'm going against Quilliforts, or Pendulum.deck. So, this is why I was saying Jinzo is so good, is because it has so much synergy, and then basically the plays open up that you would normally use with this guy here, you could tribute out for Jinzo, get the Lavatoit Dragon, and then basically drop that, go into a Leo. Leo behind Jinzo is hilarious. Um, one other thing you could also do is use the mini Chaos Dragon, tribute it, drop the, drop that, get the search, and thin your deck out a little more. So it's it's all synergy within even the, even the extra deck. Now, when Majesty drops, if Jinzo's on the board, thank you for whoever commented about this, then Jinzo's effect will not be negated because it's already on the board, so basically you can just 
fuck you, your opponent. Um, not for lack of better words, let's put it that way. Uh, but if you tribute this guy, I don't know why my light just dropped. Oh, there we go. Sorry. New camera. I'm not used to it. I have to change the settings a bit. Uh, basically, you drop this guy off this, then, well, um, you're not going to get the search, but fuck it. It's Majesty's Bean. It wins games for days. Uh, just watch out for the breakthrough skills since we run the three decree. At least, it, to me, it looked like... You know what? I should be doing this so I can see it a little easier. Uh, to me, it looked like my light went out. Maybe it didn't. That's why I zoomed back in. Sorry about that. It's, it's all new camera to me. It's a great camera quarter, but still, it's just all new. So, there's that. We run charge to get to the Lilas faster. We run three effect fillers uh, for two reasons. Light drop for this guy and tuner to synchro into things that need to be synchroing to the cores, the double cores synergy for days. Um, and cores is also mainly for decks that I can't normally get over. Like Shed Dolls give me a bad matchup. Gores allows me to get over the window and take control back of the game or just use it as effect filler baits. That's Chaos Food right there, people. Uh, Trigodia basically access to rank 6s much faster. That is steel monsters up for days. There's lots of levels to play around with. Yeah, I've even stolen Burning Abyss before because of fucking Guard Trooper. It's so sacky. So sacky. So sacky. Um, I think that's about everything that really needed to be said. It's pretty straightforward deck. Uh, you have to use your you have to use your head with this one. Uh, you'll see it with the with the dual videos. You could bring back like it, say for example you mill a BLS and you have this in hand um, off the card trooper to kill the card trooper. You want to drop this, go out to you know whatever level six you can get lavish points, and then overlay to an M7. Drop the Caius because Caius plus this you want to banish. You don't want to banish this guy unless you have to. Uh, this is an M7, so let's. Fucking just put M7 there. Let's let's be great Yugi tubers. Fuck that Yugi uh, Yugi tubers. Let's be YouTubers. Um, M7 the BLS drop the BLS win game. Your pro sir. Um, sometimes what I'll actually do is if I don't have like BLS, I bring back the Kai's. Is you have a targeting graveyard, and then like the following turn, I'll just bounce if I can bounce, and then I have set up again. Monarch Storm Fourth and Side Deck has complete synergy with that. Snatch Seal can steal monsters to do the same thing. And Chaos Sorcerer, well, obviously, you're not going to tribute for Chaos Sorcerer, so you're going to special it, but there you go. You have counters to pretty much everything meta wise. It handles itself pretty damn well if you know what you're doing. I think I made that pretty clear throughout many, 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 many videos. I dropped like highest over here, son of a bitch. Um, so any questions, leave it in the comments below. Any combo guide videos you want me to, uh, to do, let me know. I know one of them was the Spirit Beast. I think it was like, I think that's what they call in the TCG. The uh, Spirit Beast. I'm gonna, I'm working on it. I'm trying to like further my knowledge because it won't be the first time I play the damn deck. So thank you guys for helping me out with that. And also thank you guys for being so patient about, you know, just everything recently. Lots of great things are coming for this channel, especially during this month, and we have a lot of surprises for you. And this was just one of the one of the things I've been wanting to do. And this camera, I, I love it. I love it. It's just so good. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council? Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.